Yo, what is going on, Sexy Sam Lander Squad? Welcome to February, or February, however you want to say it, however you want to spell it. Um, the extra R always throws me off, but we're here. Is Am I recording? We're recording perfect. Sounds good. Playing Kali today. Mannequin Scepter, obviously. That item is super busted and super not okay and super too OP. So we're going to use it. Um, my, 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 my. my mana is gonna be an issue, especially if I get my speed buff. So I'm gonna do it's that. Do that. Do 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 that. I'm gonna get beads. The reason I'm gonna get beads is because I don't want to get stunned for my ult, right? So like he he could combo me with his ultimate, like do 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 the four hits and then and then like the four slices and dices. And then he uses his two immediately after, and that's the thing that's going to try to kill me. Because if I don't get my ult off in time, I just die, so. <clears throat> so, yeah. Actually, my clear is kind of nuts. Wait a second. My buff clear is kind of really strong with Mannequin. Maybe I can double buff. I am still really glad that I got the extra um, mana pot, though. He's double buffing as well, which is surprising to me. I'm not going to hit the minion waves. I want the minion waves to kill as many as um, as possible. Does he have mana conceptor? He does. He does. He does. He does. He also has shell, so that was not a winning fight for me. Because I have beads. Um, I'm a little scared that he just kills me here. Okay, he missed the one, so I'm not scared anymore. Am I scared still, actually? Okay. I mean, honestly, my Mannequin Scepter is doing so much damage to him, so... I'm okay with this, right? Like, he's trading well. But I am okay with this. I'm going to push this wave because I should be able to push this wave, get full attack speed boots, and then back and still contest my, my red buff. And yes, I am calling it my red buff because it's mine. He did not get finished boots, so we are definitely, we hit the power spike that he didn't hit. I don't have any mana or any health potions, which kind of sucks, but <clears throat> I'll have to manage. I don't hear him, but I did find him. Alright, so I used my beads there. And I actually think that it's ow, not bad. That I use my beads there. Because I could just alt his alt now. And I'll be fine. And then stun him afterwards. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So I used my ult to auto attack reset there. So I could get some extra damage on him. Um, and I guess he, he wasn't expecting me to ult that. I think he was waiting for me to defensive ult rather than offensive ult. But, and the offensive ult really caught him off guard. So now we build into the itch of all because that item is super strong. And yeah, I mean, Kali is basically just one of those characters where it doesn't really matter. Um... It doesn't really matter what you build. As long as it's got auto attack speed and you get a kin somewhere in your build, it's okay. So, that's kind of the benefit. That's kind of why Kali is good. is because her late game is super strong. Like, her, her late game obviously is, like, one of the best late games in the game. But also, uh, you can't really counter out early game because of all the auto attack resets she has in her kit and the power spikes she has. Especially with Mannequin Scepter now in the game, you know, like... There's so many power spikes available. So. So yeah, you can't really count anyone out. I do have Mannequin, so. Um, oh, and I have a more attack speed than him too, so. I'm definitely okay with taking that trade. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, the capacity ah, to pick up the blue buff, but it's okay. 
<clears throat> I'm not going to use an ability here to clear unless I really have to. I want to save my mana in case there's a fight that breaks out where he tries to ult me. Because he probably will have his ult up. I have mine up and he used his at the same time. So, I want to make sure I have mana to deal with whatever nonsense he might throw at me. He's back here right now, so I will use my clear. Um, however, even though I did use my clear, I'm not backing. The reason I'm not backing is because he's in, you know, he's so far back right now after him backing that I think I'm pretty safe if I want to, to do my blue buff. Looks like he's going berserker shield potentially, maybe a void shield. Now me using my two on this buff was stupid, but the reason I did it is because it's a blue buff and I can just pick up the blue buff afterwards. And I should have enough to clear this wave pretty effectively. So, And, I mean, he can't ult me under tower, because if he does, he'll probably just die. Now, this is stupid. This is dumb. I want to contest. Can't contest. Good clear. Whatever. That's fine. Clear these. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. And more auto after that. Get our itch of all finished. One of each. Ocean. And head over there. We're ahead in gold. Uh, not in XP though, unfortunately. Well, I mean, we are ahead in XP, but it's it's so minor it doesn't matter. Yeah, we just hit level 11, but he'll hit level 11 on this wave right here, this wave. So, it's so minor it doesn't really matter. Boom, 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 boom. Can't pick it up. But I mean, yeah, we're feeling pretty good, right? Like, surviving the early game against Tsukuyomi and Kali feels really good. And I don't think Tsukuyomi has a darn tootin' chance late game against me. Against the, the Kali Meister. Oh, he's going Void Shield. Alright, honestly, I'm not in a bad position here. Okay, now I'm in a bad position here. Ah, I tried to bees and then ult. I tried to bees and then ult. Yeah, I missed the sun. That was, that was, that put me in a really bad position. I think I'm going to go Berserker Shield. Um, yeah, I don't need to sell that to get tier 2. Berserker Shield is kind of expensive. 1350 last item, but that's alright. Or, like, to upgrade to tier 3. But, yeah, I mean... I said it literally right when it happened that... Oh, I'm... I messed up. <laughs> I missed the 3 and it was bad. But, you know... A lot of people... Especially lower ranked players... Will get mad... Or upset when their teammates miss, you know, an alt or an ability or, you know, some sort of anything, really. They'll just get upset, like, wow, how did you miss that? You know, he's running in a straight line. Or he was so obviously going to juke or whatever. But the thing is, no player, no matter how good, even the best mechanical players in the world, like, like Paul and Face, even they miss everything, you know? Not everything, but, you know, they miss stuff. Right? Like, not everybody hits everything. And you have to kind of be able to accept that, you know, misplays are going to happen. And the way that you become a fantastic mechanical player is to expect your own misplay and find a contingency plan. Right? Find, find plan B. I didn't have a plan B if I missed the stun there, so I died. <clears throat> um... And yeah, I mean, obviously, if Paul were to make that play, he would have had a plan B. And I normally do have, like, a plan B. You know, I miss my two. Maybe I just disengage the fight or... Um, and then I'll, I'll have to ult a second earlier to get the auto-attack damage off, you know, to get the, uh, get the auto-attack reset for more burst. You know, there's different plans, but when with that uh, misplay there, I just did. I didn't have a second early. 
See right here, I do. Cause he, he, even though he stuns me, I use my three for the burst, and even though he gets the stun off, he can't commit anything to it. And if he does commit, then I just ult. So, just a winning fight. Let's go back. I assume he backed. He had like six HP, so it would not have been smart if he didn't back. Going soul leader. He got thorns. Is it bad? I kind of want to go, um... I kind of want to go Sunder. Get, so when he shells, I can just pop that shell off and get the kill, you know? There's so many people rely on that shell late game. Okay, you don't scare me. I have Itch of All and Berserker Shield, so my attack speed is way high up there. And it yoinks all of his, so... So many ranged auto attacks. Should be up. Got it. I'm gonna back though. All right, nice, 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 nice. His alt there was super ambitious. I don't know what his plan was, because I guarantee he have alt. I haven't ulted in like six minutes, right? So I, he definitely knows I have alt up. But I think maybe he was expecting me to ult too early or something. He gets scared by his, his actual beam damage and not um, like kind of be blinded by it, I guess. The higher level he goes, the bigger the shell is. And when he upgrades it, it's going to be really annoying to get off. So that's what the Sunder is for. Um, I do like I do like uh, like Thorns as well here, but he's got better clear than me by a lot, actually. I kind of would like Golden Blade, but it's a waste of an item for fighting. I do wonder if maybe I can just burn down Bull Demon right now, because I am such a higher level than him. And I have so much more DPS than him. He's more so about survivability and... Um, survivability and, like, lifesteal. And I'm all about damage. Like, my whole build is about damage. So. Alright, I'm gonna back. I'm gonna finish my Toxic Blade and upgrade my Sunder. This will help us all. So that way, even if I don't Sunder his shell, I can still Sunder for the extra 20% damage. It's not bad. And like I said um, in a previous video, I think Sunder is gonna be picked up a lot more often now that Thorns got nerfed from 40% to 30%. It's, I mean, 10% or 10% reflection damage. Being taken away is kind of a huge deal, to be honest. This Alright, perfect. I was actually kind of, um... I was waiting for him to... The shell. Just so I could use my Sunder effectively. It would have thrown him off guard. But yeah, like, he's trying to fight these fights, but he has no, um... He has no damage. And his Soul Eater isn't even upgraded yet. He's double defense with, with a not upgraded Soul Eater and attack speed boots. So his damage output is... Is low to nothing right now. Which is why I'm not scared of him. That being said, low to nothing damage output on Tsukuyomi is still kind of a lot of damage. But compared to my build, it's nothing. So. So we're feeling pretty damn good about this game so far. He's got to deal with fire minions, which puts so much pressure on him. He just finished his, uh, yeah, yeah. He just finished his soul eater. Which means... 
that he's going to be healing a lot more. But I already have my Toxic Blade, so we're pretty good about it. Pretty okay with it. Next item. Honestly, we finished my Mannequin Scepter. Because that's kind of like super OP. Ouch. And is it bad I really want to go Mannequin Blade this time? Gives me more basic attack damage. Not what I would have chosen. Like obviously this mannequin mace burns jungle bosses a lot more and does more damage to him. But I think my damage output is enough to where if I jump on him or I get the first hit in a fight, I'm doing 15% of his HP. You know? I'm doing 15%. And, by the way, also works on jungle, jungle camps here. You see the Demon King? 6590. Boom. Instant instant 1,000 damage. So. Yeah, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. This thing can chunk bosses. I actually have this video up on my Twitter. Which, if you're not following, you should follow. I have a video up on my Twitter of my entire Conquest team getting this mace. GG, dude. GG. I sundered off his shield, bro. I sundered off the shell. I actually did it. Killed him with the dot damage from my ult. But yeah, if you're not following my Twitter, you should. And if you're not following my Twitch, you definitely should. It's amazing content. And it's Twitch exclusive, so it's always fun. Um, if you're ever lacking Sam content, and you might be because I'm actually not uploading on uh, Saturdays or Sundays anymore. I'm taking the whole weekend off um, and working... Uh, Monday through Friday. So you guys will get two videos every day, Monday th through Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I'm sorry, you got to watch somebody else. But, you know, supply and demand. You want more Sam, you got to come get it somewhere. Twitch.tv slash Sam the Dude. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure, uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And share the video so that everyone else in your family can see it. Uh, again, I love you guys. Thank you. And peace. Wrong button. Peace again.